and I'm the Rhinestone Queen. Welcome back. Um, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. I had we put our house up for sale, so I had to keep my studio spotless. Couldn't make any videos, uh, but the house is sold. We're in the process of building a new house, so I'll still be a little iffy about how often I get to post, but I'm back and I'm happy to be back. Today, I want to show you how to attach a skirt to that costume I made on the previous video that talked about how to do cutouts on um, a custom dance costume. So here is what my skirt pattern looks like. And here is what my swag pattern looks like. Before I attach the skirt, I'm going to go ahead and finish the edges um, just so it doesn't ravel because it's chiffon and it'll ravel on you. So on this top edge, I'm just going to do a flat serge stitch and then all around the bottom edge, I'm going to do uh, a rolled hem. Now I want you to notice the tension I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not pulling it by any means but I am giving just a little gentle tension on the back side and a little gentle tension on the front, very gentle. Don't pull it, it's gonna do wonky things, but gentle helps it from getting too really, really crazy. Okay, here I'm sewing the skirt, the rolled hem on the skirt. All I'm doing is guiding it with my fingers through. And you can see it, it does give a little ripply effect on the bottom edge a little bit more so than had I held it taut. See, it's it's pretty. I'm going to fold it in half and just put a pin where center is. Then I know I'm pinning it in the right spot. Start at center. If you remember, this piece had a gentle curve. The curve goes this way. I'm going to pin it to the mannequin. What I probably should have done is just did a little basting stitch down the center and ruched it so it would sit right. But what I can do is just kind of pull it taut like that. And yeah, if I had three hands, it would work great. I'm just going to pin this here. Pin this here. Just get it out of my way. Here, I'm gonna just ruse this up. Turn this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just ruching it a little bit and pinning it so that it, so that I don't pull it more to one side than the other. That's all. All right, so now... I can come to this side. I know I want it to fall a little bit in the front. So I want to give it a, have it, let it have a little bit of give, right? So I'll probably start right about there. And then I'll just ruche it. And if this is the right look, I'll know how much I need to cut off. And I'll just pin it right there. I'll go to the other side, do the same thing. So, all right, so if I unpin this and see how that falls. You can see that that's hanging a little low. I really would want this a little higher than this. So I'm going to um, actually tighten this up just a hair and try to make it better. So to tighten it up, I'm just gonna take one side and pin a little, little bit more. That's looking better already. I'll go to the other side and do the same. That's what I've seen people online commenting and wanting patterns for everything and wanting to know exactly how to do something. Sometimes you just got to figure it out, you know? And it's okay if you don't know right away. And it's okay if it takes a little time. It's okay if it goes wrong before it goes right. 
But this is starting to look good. There, I think that's a pretty decent looking swag. Might go a little bit tighter over here. But I think that's very pretty. So the way I'm gonna get this done, I'm just gonna whack it off. The excess that I don't need on each side, because I know this is right. And then if I sew this at the side seam and I'm cutting an extra inch, so now I've got an inch too much. So I'll take, I'll cut an inch off after I gather it. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is even this out. And I'm ready to gather. My finished width on this thing is about three inches long. So I want to get all of this down to three inches is my goal. I'm starting with the top part by folding the top part down because I want to force that top part of the of the swag kind of, you know, to go underneath everything. So now I'm just going to take big pleats and pull them up and pin it. And again, me and my eyeball method, but that's the method that works for me. And I just go a couple inches, pull a pleat, and pull it up. And I keep doing it. Another way you could have done this would just be to take a gather. And I thought about it and I said, you know, I think the pleating is gonna give me a smoother finish and I liked it better. So I decided to pleat instead. You know, you wanna gather, you can gather. If you wanna pleat, you can pleat. You do you. So now that I'm at the bottom, I'm going to take this bottom edge and I'm just going to fold it up. I'm folding it up a good bit because I really want it to turn under and I, I don't want to see, I want to give this a chance when it's folded under like that and swagging. I, I don't want to see the hem part. I want that to be underneath. I might do one more, please. Just one more. And then I'll do the other one the same way. And see my finished width, um, one, two inches, which is should be about perfect. And I'll just make sure the other side is the same width. And I'm right at two inches on the other side, so I should be good. So when it, let me take this pin out of here. So when it goes on the costume, it should give me the effect we want, you know, that pretty little swag. Okay, I'm just doing a single straight stitch basting stitch. I'm just going to baste my edges. There's one. The reason I did a basting stitch was because I didn't want to have all those pins going into my serger and I wanted the pleats held in place. So I'll do a flat serge stitch. And I'll do a little generous. I'm going to cut off. Remember I had an inch of extra, so I'm cutting off a half an inch. Which will give me a half inch seam allowance and I'll be golden. Okay, to make sure it's in the right place before I actually sew this on the costume, I want to pin it back. I want to pin it in place and then it's going to be good to go. So I'll start on this side. I'm going to pin it on the side seam. And I want to make sure because this doesn't have elastic in it yet and it's going to turn under and have elastic, I want to make sure that this stops well above that so I don't get in my own way when I'm doing the elastic. And I know the serge stitch shows here, but you're never gonna see this. The, the skirt goes on top of this and you won't see it. About the same place, about a half an inch up.
and I'll check my placement again when I take it off the mannequin. Let's look at it and see if we're happy. I think that's going to be beautiful. And our skirt is going to come to about here and we'll attach it like this on either hip bone in the front. So it's gonna come a little over, so it'll hide, the skirt's gonna hide this part. I switched my sewing machine to a zigzag stitch and I'm just gonna zigzag this sucker on here. I'm gonna do, do a back stitch. I'm right on the side seam. I'm going to do the same on both sides. There we go. That's sewn in. I know it doesn't look like a whole lot right there, but it's going to be beautiful on. You saw how pretty it was on the mannequin, but it's just not that pretty stretched out right here. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I use foam board to sew. This is... Um, you can buy it at the hardware store. It comes in four foot by eight foot sheets. It's styrofoam board. And um, this one looks like it's about half an inch thick. Maybe no, it might be three, five eighths thick. I have no idea what thicknesses they come in. But it's wonderful for pinning things on and stretching out your costumes. This technique uh, on putting on a skirt works for anything. You can use it for feathers, you can use it for fringe. But it's, it's a great way to apply a skirt, especially non-stretch fabric. When you're applying it to stretch fabric, different people do it different ways, but I find this way works perfectly every time. I always get a good stretch, and my girls can always get it over their booty, which is super important. So I'm going to start on the back side of... because. Here's my target point, right? There's my side seams. Let me try to even that out a little bit. But I've got the side seams lined up on the side. And when you use the foam board, you stretch your leotard out over the foam board and pin it. This foam board, I think, is 17 inches wide. Um, so that gives me a 34 inch circumference. Well, actually about 35 and a half, which is perfect for this size. So. I'm good. I mean, if, if you're within an inch or two with stretch, it's so forgiving, um, you're going to be fine. First thing I got to do is mark center on the back of my skirt. I know where the center is on the back of this because I have a seam in the center, so that's easy to see. I'm going to just fold this in half. Some people may cringe when they see me do this, but I use Sharpie to mark center because it doesn't fall off. And no one's gonna see this. I'm gonna put it where it's it's hidden. When I put a skirt on, I put it upside down. I don't sew it top side because I'm not sewing it in, but I can sew it on and then it won't show. So here's, I know in the back, I'm gonna want it to have like a little gentle curve, right? Here's where it's coming to. I'm gonna wanna go about an inch below that to hit on her rear end. So I'm gonna target this for my bottom and so I'll just pin my center on right there. I have to go on either side because that seems kind of wobbling on me. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this to just tack it in, stick it in, hold it in place. I want to see where things fall on the front side. When I pull this around, where does it fall? It's actually coming out a little further than I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a little gather in the back because that's going to help it to be prettier anyway. I like giving a little gather in the back. So I'm going to grab my needle and thread. Well, actually, I don't even need to. I can just do a little pleat. I'll just come up. I like that. I can just kind of flatten this out a little bit, center it. 
and that'll make it flow nicely over the booty, especially if I don't know who I'm making this for, right? It's just a spec costume. So if it goes to somebody who has a generous rear end, that little pleat will help them help it to flow nicely over the booty. Little tricks, little tricks. So now that I've done that, let's see where it falls on the front. That's a better spot. I like that better. And I'm gonna come up to here. And I'm gonna go a little loose. Like I want it, I wanna have. You know, you want to have stretch, so I don't know if you can tell that, like, I can stick my, I want to be able to stick my finger underneath between each pin. Let's see where this one's going to go. I want to kind of anchor it so I'm hitting the right line. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I'm going backwards. Oh, Lord. I got to go up here. That was the bottom. This is the top. See? See how things happen? Okay. No wonder it was being weird. All right, there, that's better. <laughs> what did they say, measure twice, cut once? Kind of the same principle as when you were cutting the skirt out, you want to, I'm, I'm eyeballing here, you know, and you want to just be generous. Like I can stick my, finger, my index finger in that little hole. And when I sew it, I'm going to, I'll show you how to do that, but you you pull a little bit when you sew and you pull on the lycra and then it stretches out and you end up with, I'm going to unpin this because I didn't give it enough, but I want index finger under each seam. So that way your skirt's gathered on, your skirt ends up being gathered onto your costume, onto the leotard without um, without having to actually gather it and it's going to move and stretch. Now we do this more on the back side than the front side. I'm not as concerned in the front because in the front girls tend to be flatter across their belly in the front, right? And if I end up a little off on one side or the other when I get to the front, it's no big deal. You just adjust it. I'm going to flip to the front. It's just coming right around the front side right there. Look, um, and I can measure it if I want from that side seam to make sure I'm the same on both sides. So you can already tell this one's going to fall further than that one did. This is right at two and a half inches from the side seam. And this one is... Oh, it's two and a half inches as well. It's just tight. So I just need to loosen this side a little bit. Because I don't want it to be taut, you know? I want it... Yep, that's pretty close to perfect. Okay, I've taken it off the mannequin, well, off the board, and you can see here's my, ready. it's ready to go in the machine, but you see how we have lots of gaps right here? Uh, there's a big, the gap got bigger. I'd already put my finger under it, but now it's even bigger. That's okay. When we put it on the machine, it's gonna stretch out. So let's get that going. And I'm gonna zigzag this on. I'm going to zigzag actually on a, a, a four length and a three width um, because I might top stitch it. I do want to back top stitch right there. But do you see how as I stitch, I pull? So you just pull it till, you don't pull it super tight, just tight enough to get the light, the chiffon to be straight. So you see how that's straight on the lycra? I 
want you to see the back of the skirt. You see how it looks like as if it's gathered on there. When it's on the body, it's going to it's going to stretch across. When this is on, well, I'll put it on the mannequin, you'll see, but it'll stretch and it'll be fine. We can also go in if you want a smoother look. You can go in and top stitch on top of this. And that would give you that it would smooth out that seam and make it more finished looking. Okay, so here's our finished costume, but I want you to see some things because there's, there's some stuff I'm not happy with and I'm gonna fix it and I'll show you. Right here, I find this is coming down way too low. It needs to come up to about here instead. And I'm gonna probably pick this ruching part up a little higher as well so that it could hit a little better across this part of the body. I'd like all of this to be raised up about an inch. So I'm gonna rip, I'm gonna rip from here forward and make this go up. So that's gonna happen. Um, because sometimes, you know, you do your best and it's, it's not the best. So, you know, the only people who don't rip are the people who don't sew. Um, but the back looks beautiful. Look at the back. So that's really pretty. That skirt hangs beautifully. Oh, don't you love that I have a garbage can right there? So that skirt hangs beautifully. It's going to flow so nice. I mean, that's got a lot of movement.